Hello everyone, it's Addie here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a post-workout chest and shoulders stretch. So if you just hit the gym, just hit chest and shoulders, this is the perfect recovery flow for you. Before I get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment if you love the flow. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First exercise today, you're gonna bring your hands in front of you, take a deep breath in, and exhale to center yourself. As you inhale, palms towards the front, big stretch in your chest, and exhale right back to center. Just like that, inhale, big stretch across your chest, and exhale right back to center. 12 more like that, 12, 11. As you open your arms, you're really feeling that stretch across the front of your chest, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your arms out. Now, if you really worked out your chest, this is going to feel sore right here. You're going to keep your thumbs up and you're going to pulse back, 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 back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead and release. Shake that out. And make sure you're in a comfortable seated position right now. So if how I was just sitting doesn't feel too good on your knees, go ahead and reposition yourself. So however you're sitting, you're going to take your right arm down. Your left arm is going to reach straight up. Look up. And as you exhale, pull down, just like you're doing an overhead press, but a little bit to the side. Press up and pull down. And you're going to want to avoid coming too much forward. Try to really rotate up, look up, spin your chest towards the ceiling, and we're going to do that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, last one, hold it up. As you exhale, palms tap towards one another. You're getting a nice spinal rotation as well and open right back up. Again, that's down and up for 10, nine, breathe out as you come up, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Come all the way up, hold, and go ahead and come to center. That shoulder should be feeling nice and warm. We're going to come on over to the other side. First exercise, press up, and then right back down. Press up and right back down, and we're going for 10, 9, 8, make sure you're keeping your abs engaged to protect your back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Last one, hold that arm up, tap down and rotate up, rotating as much as you can, down and up. Continue here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Hold it up, squeeze, and exhale. Come right back to center. Shake it all out. So if your shoulders weren't feeling warm before this, they are now. So we're going to go ahead and come on to all fours. Your shoulders directly over your wrists and your hips directly over your knees. If you have sensitive knees, go ahead and tuck your toes and that might feel a little bit better. If not, experiment with what feels best for you. You're going to bring your hands wide of your mat, like a really wide push-up position, 
and that's exactly what we're going to do. Lower down, hold here. From here, you're gonna pulse a little bit down and a little bit up. Little bit down and a little bit up. Good chest and shoulder mobility, 10. Nine, keep your abs engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold low. Extend one arm so that you can drop into that shoulder. Look opposite the straight arm. Hold for three full breaths. Breathe in and out. Maybe you drop that shoulder a little closer to the mat. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Right back through center, switch sides. Hold here. Breathe in and out. Two more full breaths. Breathe in, out. Last one in and out. Come back to center, back to that wide push-up position. From the side, my elbows are directly in line with my shoulders and I'm just gonna rock. If you can, bring your hands even wider so that as you rock, you can straighten your arms. Really dropping your shoulders down. Begin to look opposite the straight arm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Come on all the way back to center, hold here. Next exercise, reach your left arm forward. As you inhale, rotate all the way up, big stretch. And as you exhale, weave that shoulder all the way down. So shoulder is down, opposite arm is straight. Hold here. If you like to take it further, the arm that is extended above your head is going to reach up and come behind your back. Hold three full breaths. After that last exhale, bring yourself all the way back to center. Press up and switch sides. Opposite arm reaches up, big twist. And then weave it through, shoulder comes down. Opposite arm above your head or up and behind that hip. Three full breaths. Gently release out of that. Return right back to center. From here, you're going to keep your hips directly over your knees the entire time while working to what's called puppy pose and yoga. You're going to bring your elbows down and your hands together. You're gonna to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, press your forehead towards the mat. Again, keeping my hips relatively over my knees, not too far back, not too far forward. And then come right back up. Little rocking motion. You're going to take 10, 9, 8, 7. Continue here, and you'll notice as you're moving, every time you lean back, you should feel this in your shoulders and the backs of your arms or your triceps. Four more on your own time. On that last one, you're going to hold it there and if your elbows are coming apart from each other, pull them a little bit closer together and hold.
three, two, and after that last one, go ahead and come all the way forward onto your belly. Good job, shake out your legs a little bit. We have a couple more simple stretches here. So for the first one, press into your hands so that you can weave one arm under. The other one's going to come directly over top. So the more opposite you can get your arms, the better. So you might start out here, and as you get more flexible, your arms will get more and more opposite. So keep them straight. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, sink into it and hold. Lift up, switch the one on top. Go ahead and lift up, press yourself into a comfortable seated position. Sit up tall, take your hands in a clasp behind your back. If you're flexible enough, you can press into your palms so that you're really pressing your chest forward. Other option is to reach for opposite elbows. So once you're here, you're going to be rocking side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out. Reach both arms up and over your head. And I'm sure everyone's done this stretch or a variation of this stretch before. Right arm comes down, reaching for opposite shoulder. Left hand reaches for your elbow. Once you're here, pull your elbow to the left. So if you're more flexible, the arm may come behind your head or you may be more here. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and what you're going to do here is actually press your elbow into your hand so you're resisting the own, your own stretch for five, four, three, two, and one, and then relax into it, hold five, four, three, two, one, reach up, switch sides, hold, just relaxing, five, four, three, two, and one, press that elbow into your hand, five, four, three, Two and one. Now relax. Feel the stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach both hands up. Shake it out. And that is all for this chest and shoulders flexibility post workout routine. If you loved this video, make sure to like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Namaste.